Hello lovely humans and welcome back to my channel. I apologize in advance for the different camera quality today because um, my usual typical sit down vloggy camera seems to have grown legs and walked away. I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. And it's my typical filming day. So we're filming with like my vlogging on the go camera. So uh, things look a little bit different, but it still gets the job done. And that is all that matters. Before we jump into today's video, we have reached 50 thousand subscribers. I'm just so honored that 50,000 humans on this planet said, yeah, I'll come back for more of this. Like that just, it just blows my mind. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that you come back every single week and that you want to keep listening to me drone on and on about wedding related stuff. And I'm just honored to be a part of it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining in, for watching every single week, for deciding to stick around. It really does mean the world to me. But in an effort to keep my intro shorter because I promise I'm working on it, I am, okay. Also check out the master plan, okay cool. Today's video is going to combine two of my favorite things in the entire world. One, wedding planning, two, thrifting. And we are gonna talk about how to thrift for your wedding day. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. For those of you who do not follow me on my personal channel, I am a huge thrifter. Like, I love finding things at thrift stores. In fact, this dress I'm wearing right now is from a thrift store. I got it with Mikkel. We did a little sip and thrift. It's coming out on her channel very soon, probably within the next few weeks. Um, and I love thrifting things for my home as well, which a lot of you saw in my home tour that went live last week. Um, but for those of you who are not tuned in over there, I thrift. A lot. I think that it's a really inexpensive way to find great decor that is super unique. It also lessens the footprint because you're not buying brand new things and it helps you save money, all of which are great things when you're planning a wedding because you don't want to spend a lot of money, you want it to look pretty, and you don't want to create too much waste. Oh, and I thrifted a bunch for my wedding as well, and I mean a lot. So I took a look back on like what I did for my wedding and how I approach thrifting in general to kind of come up with some rules to help you thrift items for your wedding day. Rule number one, have a game plan in mind before you even walk in. In. Have your color scheme in mind. Kind of know what type of centerpiece vessel you want everything to be in. Know if you want to go ahead and try to find a bunch of mismatched china for uh, for your guests to eat dinner off of. Or if you want to source a bunch of colorful goblets. Because you know when you go into Target and like you don't necessarily have a plan when you go into Target? Like you go in there and you let Target tell you what you need? That is not what you do with the thrift store. You go into the thrift store with a game plan. And I highly suggest going for things you can live without. Um, one of the best things that you can thrift is centerpiece vessels. Your vases, your candlesticks, those sorts of things. As opposed to glassware, flatware, and china. Simply because at the end of the day, you can live with one less vase in your centerpiece, but you cannot live without a plate for people to eat their food off of. Rule number two, go often. And I mean like, at least a weekly trip to your local thrift store. Also, go to a couple different thrift stores because you might find that one is way better than another. And I know that's definitely the case with a couple of the thrift stores around me. There are some that have great stuff and then there's some that's like totally hit and miss. So I visit those less often. Because it's unlike a bunch of other brick and mortar and or online locations, the inventory is constantly changing. So if you're on the hunt for a bunch of vintage silver pieces, like I did for my wedding, I would keep consistently going and like clearing out all their vintage silver teapots and little um, creamer bowls and stuff like that and candlesticks to make sure that I could amass the quantity that I needed. And when you go often, you can kind of have your finger on the pulse of what typically comes into this store. And then you can figure out if it matches rule number one, if it matches your game plan. If you find yourself consistently going to the store time after time after time and only every once in a while, do they have something that fits your vibe? You either need to stop shopping there, come up with a new game plan or find your stuff elsewhere. Rule number three, do not expect things to match. If you are thrifting items for your wedding, it is going to be a mismatched eclectic theme. I personally am a huge fan of that, but if that is not your vibe, then thrifting is probably not the best game plan for you. Unless you're doing something like a one-off. And what I mean by that is a card box. You only need one of those. Cake stands, more likely than not, you probably only need one cake stand. You could get a couple other dessert displays, but you're not buying them in mass. You can also get attire and accessories. You can find beautiful white dresses for your engagement photo shoot, for your engagement party, for your bridal shower. That is a great thing to get from a thrift store and it doesn't really need to match anything. This one's a little iffy for some people, but you can get shoes there as well because I mean, ideally the shoes would match each other. Like, 
otherwise don't get them. Um, but they don't need to match with anything else in your decor. If you do want things to match, paint is your best friend. If you get a bunch of different kinds of vases and you want them all to match, spray paint them white. Although be very careful because sometimes spray paint will chip off and then it looks DIY and like we don't want that. So definitely try a couple different paints on for size just in case. But when you're thrifting, don't expect it to match unless it's like a single one item. Um, and if you do want them to match, paint, 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 paint. Rule number four, do not go too specific. I actually went thrifting earlier today and I found this beautiful um, like yellowy amber colored glass bottle and I was like this is fantastic. I love this because I'm actually going to be doing a follow-up video using some of these items that I've thrifted today to do a DIY thrifted centerpiece video um, and I fell in love with this bottle and I thought this is absolutely gorgeous. I, I just want like 72 of these. This would be so cool. But because it's so specific color wise, it would stick out like a sore thumb. So instead, today I opted for all brass candlesticks, a brass teapot, and clear glass. And because I go thrifting often enough, I know I can find more brass. I know I can find more clear little bud vases. I know enough about this store and enough about thrifting that I know I can find more of those. Had I opted for that one little amber colored bottle, it wouldn't work with the rest of the items that I had. So when you're thrifting and you find something absolutely perfect and you totally love it, but it's so specific that you probably can't replicate it at all, you should probably pass on that item again unless it is one of those one-off items. And rule number five, do not be afraid to supplement with either online shopping or antiquing. Thrift stores are absolutely amazing. You're gonna find a ton of stuff at thrift stores, but you might reach a point where you're like, I'm just, I keep going back, I'm not seeing enough, I have a few more items that I need to get. I recommend checking out websites like Etsy where they have um, vintage and or used pieces for sale that can fit your vibe as well. Yes, they are going to be more expensive, but a lot of people do hit a wall when it comes to thrifting and they just can't quite find all of the pieces that they need. So in order to save your sanity, consider something like Etsy to round out your collection. Or go antiquing. Antiquing is absolutely another one of my favorite things. I'm just obsessed with it. And yes, items there are going to be more expensive, but again, it's a great way of completing all of the centerpiece items that you need or getting the rest of the vintage books that you want to kind of stack up and put in different places. So while thrifting is amazing, Amazing, and it's so cheap, you might need to supplement with a little bit of something else. So now that we've gone over the five basic rules of thrifting, let's talk about a couple things that are excellent to thrift for your wedding day. Frames. There are always a gazillion frames at Goodwill. They are great for displaying pictures. Obviously, that's typically what frames are used for. Or you can use them for table numbers. You can use them for signs, such as like a menu. And you can use them for a big grand seating chart. I've seen plenty of DIYs on Pinterest where people will actually attach the frames to one another and each frame will have a table number and the list of the guest names on them. Vases and centerpieces. Obviously, I brought this up quite a bit. If you want a more eclectic vibe, with your centerpieces, thrifting is absolutely the way to go. It's you just find so much. You could find so many things. And again, like I said earlier, bridal attire and or accessories. Perhaps you can even find some jewelry for all of your bridesmaids, for your mom, for your future mother-in-law. That is a great place to look because then you're finding them something unique and special um, for a bargain. Books, like I mentioned, especially if you want that vintagey sort of booky vibe, librarian status. Um, furniture, if you want to thrift a couple of cool, unique pieces like trunks or potential some old desk that you can use as a welcome table or a dessert table. And lastly, but this is like the category that I'm like, mm, like maybe do this, but only if you're super committed to it, you can thrift things like china, flatware, and glassware. I have personally thrifted glassware for a wedding of 150 people, and it took months to find all of the glasses because we wanted them all to be vintage, we wanted them all to have texture, and we wanted a lot of color too. So when it comes to those items, again, the ones that you can't live without, you have to be really, really committed to pull those off. So how about you? Are you thrifting for your big day? Have you already thrifted? Tell me all about your super, super cool finds in the comments below. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the 50K giveaway. I know we hit over 50,000 subs at this point, and I promise you, promise you, promise you that all of those details are coming soon. I just want to button down a couple more things. I'm securing a couple more tidbits for you guys to make sure that what we're giving away is super, super rad. Like um, earrings. Uh, yep, bridal earrings from Jade Oi. Hey, those are going to be on there. Um, let's see what else. Consultation with me for an hour. Yes, that's going to be on there. And maybe, maybe even access to the master plan. I don't know. 
it could be cool. So I'll probably be releasing the information on our Instagram first. So if you're not following us there, it's at JW Coordination. Um, so go give us a follow there. That's probably where it's going to be released first. And then I hope to have everything buttoned down by next week where I will be announcing the 50K giveaway. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, like this video because you like the video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. And until next week, bye guys.